Welcome to the Can Do It series, Ask the Expert. I'm Carl Kant and I'm here with Amy Skelly Burgess. Hello Amy. Hi. What's in a construction phase plan? So the things that would be in a construction phase plan should be specific to the site and the project and they should be relevant to the hazards that we know about on the site. So basically it should cover all the arrangements um, for managing health and safety. So that include things like temporary works, um, communication with third parties and the members of the public perhaps. Um, it will also include things about the emergency arrangements that should include first aid, fire, site security, um, uh, evacuation from the site. And most importantly, it should also cover the particular risks. So the particular risks are within um, Schedule 3 of the CDM regs. There's basically a list of 10 particular risks um, that are thought to be the things that are most hazardous to workers. So the principal contractor should be telling us, yep, these are the particular risks that are relevant to our works, and this is how we're going to manage them. Can you list uh, possible 10, uh, a few of them? Yeah, um, some of the particular risks are, for example, working with prefabricated elements, um, working near high foliage power lines, which is quite relevant to our works, also um, working over water where there's a risk of drowning, or working where there's a risk of burial under earth falls or falls from height. Can you also tell me about the significance classification on a, on a CPP and what does it mean for, yeah. for us? Yeah, so basically the CPP is for the entire project and under the CPP there'll be a list of work package plans, um, so they're kind of the next level down. There might be two, there might be ten different work package plans under a CPP, it just depends on how large the job is. Um, and basically the work package plans will be deemed to be significant if there's any perhaps unusual methods of working or if it's particularly complex, if we're using new technologies for example, or if there is a particular risk or a significant risk um, that does give rise to a risk to staff post mitigation. So basically if a, project, if a work package plan is deemed to be significant risk, it means that that has to go back to the client for review and for sign off before the works can proceed.